Nowadays, hydrocooling has entered a white hat stage like Bitmain's S19 SP Hydro, S19 Pro Plus Hydro, Watts Miner's M33, M53 series, and Avalon's 1346, and other models can also be upgraded to hydro version. Today we have Watts Miner M33, S++, uh, the market response of this model is pretty good, so let's see if it's true. Right here is um, what's minor M33 S++. So it is very heavy. It weighs 30 kilograms. Um, it's big, it's thin. Uh, that's what people call it the blade miner. And uh, let's take a look at right here is the power supply. And right here, the network cable goes in on this side. Um, we have the water inlet. And here is the water outlet. We have already put this miner running for over a day, so let's compare its actual performance with its official data. All right, right here we can see that it has been running for a day plus 60 minutes. The average hash rate shows a little bit above um, 240. We can see that down here, um, for all the boards, they are very stable at around 60. This is because of the water cooling. Um, because this kind of technology gives a great stability to the boards and uh, the miner um, overall. We can see the rejected rate is quite low, uh, which is also an advantage of water cooling. We can see that the power consumption right here is 7,660. The power consumption ratio is 31.8. So it also meets the official number. Um, all of the performance is quite impressive. Some clients ask me the difference between hydro cooling solutions and oil cooling immersion solutions. Well, it's simple. Um, for hydro cooling solutions, it is relatively more expensive to set up and requires more experienced maintenance. But the heat dissipation efficiency is much higher, especially under high load conditions like overclocking. And because it's more stable, the temperature is lower, so the uh, maintenance and repair rate is lower. For oil cooling solutions, uh, it is generally simpler to set up and um, it can operate over a wider temperature range, but the heat dissipation is less efficient. You can choose the best cooling solution for you according to your own conditions like your uh, environment, your scale, your experience, your budget, and um, also other factors. Besides, um, hydro cooling miners just like this M33 S++ can be used on more diversified extended scenarios because the hydro cooling miners can um, generate circulating hot water and the heat in the hot water can be used in many different ways. Many people choose hydro cooling mining with their farms, especially those of high value crops um, with a certain temperature requirement or their pools, their uh, fish pounds, or home heating and so on. At present in the Middle East, Europe, and North America, more and more people are choosing hydro cooling solutions. Our own Luban hydro cooling containers for what's miners are also available and soon we're gonna make a video to introduce it. In the future, Metal Luban will make more videos to share um, information on hydro cooling and other mining technologies. That's today's video about M33S++. If you have any questions, please leave us some comments and please follow us for more information about mining. I'm Kathy. I'll see you next time.